Hello and welcome back to this Kubernetes talk series. So today in this series, we will be seeing how to create PV and how to create a PVC. So let's get started. So here we are on our console. So to create a PV, first we need to create a storage class. So I have already created one uh, storage class. So here we are mentioning this uh, API version as storage uh, kts.io and kind we are giving the storage class and name for the storage class is uh, local storage and provisioner is uh, this no provisioner that means we are using the local uh, volume only and uh, volume binding mode is uh, wait for first customer that means like if any pod will be created then it will be allocated to that pod this uh, pv and under this uh, provisioner so if you have any uh, cloud based uh, provider storage provider then you can use that such like uh, aws or gcp or uh, azure and apart from that uh, you, if you don't have you can use this uh, no provisioner so that's it for this uh, storage class yaml file then we will see the pv.yaml So in the pv.yaml, we have uh, given the name as uh, task pv uh, pvm volume. And under the spec section, we are giving this storage class name, local storage only that we have uh, given in the storage class.yaml. And capacity, we need to specify any capacity you can give. And uh, under the access mode, we are giving read write once and host part this directory we are mounting uh, slash opt slash data so next uh, we will be creating the pvc dot uh, yaml so we will go to that particular file so here we have this per persistent volume claim so here also we need to mention the storage class name and uh, access mode we need to give read write uh, once. So this access mode should be matched with the pv.yaml, uh, which we have specified in that. So for example, if you mentioned here read write many, then this uh, persistent vol volume claim will not claim that uh, pv. And uh, storage, you need to specify how much uh, storage you, you are claiming. So you can also give 10 uh, gigabytes as well. So that's it uh, for this uh, pvc.yaml. Next, we will be creating the pod. So I've already created one. I will show you that. So in this uh, pod.yaml, now we, are, we will be claiming that uh, persistent volume claim. We need to specify the exact uh, claim name that we have specified for pvc.yaml. And we are creating the one container and we are mounting this uh, path to the uh, pv that we have uh, created so let's apply these all these files so you can also apply in a one go kubectl apply minus f sc.yaml and pv.yaml you can specify and uh, So all this, okay, I think the type, type of mistake is there. So let's apply again. Okay, so as you can see, the storage class has been created, persistent volume has been created and PVC and pod. So all the four things has been created. So let's uh, verify all those things. So kubectl get sc sc means uh, storage class so you as you can see uh, this provisioner is uh, no provisioner and this storage class has been created next we will see kubectl get pv so pv is also is being created uh, re reclaim policy uh, retain means like whenever we uh, delete any pod or so that uh, this pv will not get de uh, deleted it will uh, retain that pv 
and uh, next uh, what we have created pvc so we will also verify that kubectl get pvc so as you can see status is bound and uh, sup let's uh, suppose if you haven't created the pod then the status will be uh, pending so as as soon as you create the pod this will should be status should be bound okay so this uh, pvc has been bound to our uh, pod as well so we can also see pod has been created get pods so this task pv pod is uh, running so that's how you create a pvc and attach to the pods so that's it for this video so in the next video we will uh, discuss uh, about uh, some replica sets how what is replica sets so thank you for this video